Hi, my name is Danielle Sims, S-I-M-M-S. -M -M I was born in 1988, the same year that NASA scientist James Hansen gave his testimony on climate change and brought the issue to broader awareness. I was too young to remember the Exxon Valdez oil spill in Alaska, too young in 1997 to understand the frustration when the United States didn't sign the Kyoto Protocol. Throughout my life, I've seen the effects of droughts of some of the largest, most destructive hurricanes in history, and I've lived through the hottest years on the planet, and I graduated college weeks, before, weeks after the BP oil spill disaster. Clearly, the United States needed to lead on climate action. I am African American, and many of our communities pay the price by living near health risks such as coal-fired power plants or oil pipelines. This Keystone XL pipeline isn't just an environmental issue, but a justice and civil rights issue as well. It could destroy aquifers and introduce toxins to our food supply. Already, tar sands oil extraction requires removing ancient forests and leaves toxins behind that cause cancer and increase air pollution and lung disease. I have Native American ancestors. Indigenous people who have perfected how to coexist with nature will see their communities destroyed by this pipeline. Indigenous peoples have contributed little to climate change, yet they suffer from the brunt of their direct and immediate effects. The proposal for this audacious pipeline so that it shows that the State Department is willing to put the well-being of communities at risk for the profit of the oil industry. The American people sense deep in their bones that with just a slight change of priorities, the federal government can make every effort to end apartheid, to start decreasing the income gap between the haves and the have not and to start leading on climate action. This begins when our country ceases to invest in an unjust energy system that creates expendable people in order to benefit millionaires. This begins when the U.S. stops investing in technology that poisons our planet, our water supply, and food supply. This begins when the U.S. shows the world that we have the determination and the vision to end our addiction to oil while reducing our contribution to anthropogenic climate change. Since the Keystone Pipeline has already leaked 12 times in 12 months, a new pipeline is not a serious effort to solve this problem. In 2006, one senator stated, saying that America is addicted to oil without following a real plan for energy independence is like committing alcoholism and then skipping out on the 12-step program. It's not enough to identify the challenge, we have to meet it. That senator is now our president. State Department, today, if you feel the sense of urgency we feel, then you have no doubt the moral choice you must make. Either you will support the oligarchy and the oil industry, or you will stand up the American people, environmental and civil rights justice. We're empowering you, the State Department, to deny the pipeline for the Keystone XL. Thank you.